It's my feel good breakfast show. Now we are loving having our Caitlin Williams back. That smile <laughs> we have missed so much. The calories that you bring with you with your amazing <laughs> cakes we have missed even more. I've noticed uh, how everyone got a bit thinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all on you, sister. It's all on you. So we're talking the A to Z of cooking at the moment. And um, can you believe we've made all our, our way all the way to S and now T. T. And T, there are a lot of terms relating to the letter yes. T. Today we are talking tempering. Tempering is probably a, a tricky one because, you know, they throw it into a recipe and, you know, like temper the milk into the eggs and yeah. you're like, what the heck does that it's mean? It's kind of a blanket term. Yes, yeah. Mm. yeah. So um, basically what it means is it's, it's got two meanings. So firstly, for if you're making custard or maybe you're doing a quiche filling, um, it would refer to putting a hot, li hot liquid into eggs. So you don't want to scramble the eggs. So if you do it this way around, you're not going to cook them. Okay. So to temper the eggs, you would put your sugar and your egg yolks together and you'd okay. whisk it. And then you always add your hot to your cold. So hot to cold. they could hot actually just in the recipe just say, uh, the whisk hot the hot so ingredients <laughs> into the eggs. <laughs> so by doing this, you're kind of distributing the heat and then you're okay. not cooking it. So that's tempering, really, it's all, in terms of... all science, really. Yeah. yeah, so you would do this when you're making custard, for instance. Now, now did you bring the chocolate just for me, or is the, does this relate to our turn? <laughs> no, the chocolate is for eating, though. No. <laughs> um, so this is the other word for tempering, which is a little bit more complicated and science-y. But um, when you see chocolate and it's nice and shiny and it's got mm. that beautiful snap when you bite into it, yeah. that's tempered chocolate. So if you've ever melted chocolate and tried to set it and it didn't set, uh, it's because you haven't tempered, tempered the chocolate. It. Okay, and also and it, it's drastically a, affects the taste. Uh, mm. Yeah, because it's that crunch and then you want it to melt in your mouth. Mm. Um, and with tempering, you know, it's, it's complicated, like you've got to heat it, then you've got to cool it. Um, so, you know, I'm not going to get into that because that's a whole yeah, other lesson uh, on its own. Don't try this at home, yeah? But, um, <laughs> you know, if, you, if you're feeling brave and you want to learn tempering, then, you know, maybe something worth practicing. But just to quickly take you through it, if you melt your chocolate, you pour out a third onto a marble surface. Okay. And then you spread it around with a spatula until it starts to set. And then you add it back into your melted chocolate and it should temper. Oh, man. Well, I'm going to try some tempering <laughs> when I get home. Um, well, thank you so much for Pleasure. tempering our studio this morning. Um, we, we really have missed you. Thank you so much. Please, guys, if you've got any questions relating to um, the A to Z of cooking, try to tie in a very dramatic cake recipe and maybe we can attract Caitlin back. But um, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Well, we've still yes. got a few minutes left of the show. Let's see what we're going to squeeze in.